let we see some geometrical features of pitch blade turbine. A pitch blade turbine consists of a hub with an even number of blades, bolted and tack welded on it. Here we can see there is a hub and the blades. The blade can be at any angle between 10 and 90 degree from the horizontal but the most common blade angle is 45 degree. It is lighter in weight than a propeller of the same diameter. Here we can see that a classical axial for impeller largely used in the marine applications and uh, in the steel tank for the other applications. The lighter in weight features of the pitch plate turbine is advantageous in lighter gearbox, lighter diameter of shaft and uh, smaller size of motors and other design feature. Here is the frequent applications of PBT. The first one is a liquid solid suspension. The pitch blade turbine can be used to suspend solids in the liquids as for the example crystallizing from the solution or precipitation of crystal from the solution. The very next is the solid suspension using PBT radial flow impellers can be designed to suspend solids especially if placed on the bottom of the tank but are less efficient and provide relatively poor solid homogeneity in the bulk. The very next is a liquid blending, two or more liquid to be blended. Uh, if have to be blended, can, uh, we can use the pitch plate turbine successfully. The next is the heat in the heat transfer applications. Pitch plate turbine can be used to distribute the heat from the hot coil or hot reservoir uh, to the cold solution or any cold contents. The next the gas inducement or gas dispersions. Using the PBT, we can introduce, we can disperse, or we can in induce gas in the liquid. Pitch plate turbine remain the standard impeller until the development of aerofile or hydrofile impellers. Here we can see the two versions of the hydrofile A310 and A315, which is a more energy efficient and uh, process efficient impellers as compared to pitch plate turbine. The next segment is the flow pattern produced by the pitch turbine. Before discussing the pattern produced by the pitch turbine, we should know why impeller rotation is required. Impeller rotation is required to direct the flow toward the bottom head or down pumping. However, in, in some situations such a gas dispersion and floating solid mixing, up pumping may be more effective. These are the two reasons uh, that's why the impeller is rotated in the steel tanks. Pitch turbine flow pattern, the flow discharge from a pitch plate impeller has components of both axial and radial flow velocity. In low to medium viscosity liquids and is considered to be a mixed flow impeller because it produced both radial and axial component. Here we can see that the radial component outflow the liquids towards the wall of the container radially while the axial component flow across the axis of the vessel in the upward and downward loop the pit plate turbine has a good balance of pumping and shear capabilities and therefore is considered to be a general purpose impeller this is the other features a radial flow impeller on the other hand produces two circuiting loops as uh, can be seen in the simulation. These two loops produce radial and axial both component.
Here we have a stir tank fitted with PBT. When agitator attains a uniform speed, we can see and observe the flow pattern very clearly. Some portion of liquid move radially towards the wall of the container and meanwhile some liquid also move upward axially. This shows that the presence of both component axial and radial and also a liquid vortex is present in the center of the tank due to the absence of the baffles. To address this problem, baffles are used. is higher using the PBT and the two loops also exist as we have discussed earlier. The next is the factor which affects the flow pattern uh, produced by the pitch plate turbine. For example, the flow pattern with the PBT becomes closer to radial as the impeller diameter is increased, uh, liquid viscosity is increased. Here we can see that the lower axial component at the most concentration in the bottom of the liquids is a comparison of PBT with larger diameter and with the smaller diameter. We can see that uh, broken loops are incomplete loops, uh, which means that the axial component is reduced and the radial component has been increased. Here we can see that uh, complete loops as we have seen earlier in the simulation uh, due to smaller uh, reasonable diameter of PBT. What happens if we use the multiple PBT when the uh, tank has a large height and we cannot afford a single PBT? Multiple impellers are used when liquid depth uh, to tank diameter ratio is higher than 1. In that case, more circulating loops are formed. Uh, radial flow impeller gives two circulation loops with each impeller. Here you can see that the same circulating loops, uh, which has bo both axial and radial components, uh, two loops is uh, due to this impeller and the two loops due to this impeller also can be seen in the simulation. One below and one above the impeller mixing occurs between the two loops but less intensely than within each loop. This is an example of compartmentalization. You can see that the more intense mixing is occur uh, in this regions between the two loops produced by the two impellers than the this region and this region.